<laughs> I owe you guys a bit of an apology. This video is really, really late, but if I gave you guys all the reasons and excuses why it didn't happen until now, you'd probably click away. <laughs> I did do a giveaway back in July, and as entries for that giveaway, I asked you guys to leave me some questions in the comments of that video. But I did still keep my promise about delivering the giveaway prize, and the winner for the $25 gift certificate to K-Pop Town was Gabriel Alejandro. I sent that to him by email, and all of that business is taken care of. Now, let's get to the fun part. I hope. <laughs> so Starlight Forever asked if there's a K-pop group that I wasn't into at first, but after a while I started to like them. For me, the one that comes to mind immediately would be BTS because they're my favorite male group right now, but when I first listened to them, I was like, <laughs> what is this? I'm not trying to insult them or anything, but I remember I was going to KCON 2014 and I knew they were in the lineup. I tried to listen to some of their stuff, and at the time it wasn't exactly what I liked, and now I feel like I appreciate them a lot more. Of course, they're one of my bias groups, so yeah. <laughs> Emily Media asks if there was a collab with any K-pop band or artist for whatever reason, who would you collab with and why? Um, ooh, that's a tough one. I think it would be fun to collab with FX. I think that Amber and Crystal being, they're being fluent in English, or even Red Velvet with Wendy, like, just, I would, I'd really like to collab with an English speaker from maybe an SM group, like Tiffany as well. Actually, Jessica would be fun to do, because she's like solo right now, so. Yeah, I'd also say BTS because, just because. <laughs> she also wanted to know what I think about Icon debuting next month, which actually already happened. And if you want to check out my Icon Rhythm Ta and Airplane reaction, literally just reacted to their music videos before this. So please feel free to go check that out. I thought it was pretty good. Also, my biggest fear, <laughs> it sounds really broad and vague, but I think my I have a fear of the unknown. I, I really don't like jumping into things that I don't know what they're gonna be like. Stick to things that I feel safe with, which is not always good, but that's life. <laughs> Selena Vong Sanith wants to know what it was like seeing Korean stars in person at KCON and wants to know details about meeting Bora. So I was fortunate enough to go to KCON 2015 at the beginning of August, which was really fun. I got to see some of you guys there. Some of you guys wanted pictures, which was really awesome. Sorry, I know this wasn't what the question was asking, but I do want to thank people that said hi to me. Even the people, a couple of people wanted to give me things. Thank you, thank you. That was really appreciated. To answer the question, um, it's it's pretty crazy. It, it feels surreal that you're seeing so many things at once that you've just seen from a computer screen. It was my second KCON, so I, I sort of knew what I was getting into more this time. But yeah, like all I can describe it as is surreal. You get a, a really big sense that these people are real. Not in the sense that they exist, but more that they are similar to you. That they also have feelings, they have mannerisms like you, they, they talk like you sometimes they laugh and in terms of meeting Bora I ran into her at the beach the day after KCON on my birthday which was really sweet um, I made a video about it actually so I don't want to take up too much time talking about it but she was kind and nice and I appreciate her time Jewel Juju 2929 wants to know which K-pop sites do I find the safest and best to buy merchandise and album for me I tend to go with K-pop Mart I know that some people have had bad experiences but I think people have had bad experiences with every site. I did try K-Pop Town once and it was the TTS album that I got. The poster ended up getting kind of crumpled, which I wasn't really happy with. So since then I've stuck to K-Pop Mart and they seem to have done an all right job. I have nothing to complain with about them. I would say K-Pop Mart. <laughs> Midnight Illumin, who I know, I think, hi, um, wants to know what I'm studying or taking in university or college right now. I'm currently studying sociology and political science science at university, and I'm taking a bunch of other electives, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Leatrice Jemima asks, if I could marry one K-pop idol and become best friends with another, who would I pick to marry and who would become my bestie? I think, it's funny that this question, for some reason I was just thinking about it, um, <laughs> I think I've settled that one of my ideal types is Crystal from FX, because 
How do you explain that? <laughs> I don't know. I think she's quite pretty and she's also like a bit of the mysterious quiet type. She's a bit calm. I tend to be calm even though I try to not be on camera. I also can speak English and she's younger than me a little bit so it, it just all works out I think. It's probably not the same from her perspective but <laughs> yeah that's what I would say and in terms of becoming someone becoming my best friend, V from BTS is one of my favorite people out there. <laughs> Even though I don't know if we'd actually get along that well because he can be pretty outgoing but I think he'd be pretty good company. He seems like someone you could talk to easily as well so yeah. Popcorn Quiz says, what's one thing you know now that you didn't when you first started your channel that may have been helpful if you had known it from at the start? Ooh, that's a tough one. There's a lot of things that are hard to pinpoint, but I think the most important thing is just to be patient and learn to be yourself. Appreciate that who you are is different from other people and that you have something to offer that they can't. Really do what you want to do. There are a lot of times where I felt pressured by I know viewers, like, I'm, I really want to give you guys what you guys want, but at the same time, it's hard to do that genuinely. It's hard to be genuine about things that other people want you to do. Yeah, it's, it's hard to explain, but by being yourself, you'll grow into becoming more watchable. Just doing it is the practice. Even though you might really not be that great at first, you will improve. Hopefully, is I hope I've improved. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Error404 wants to know if there's any exciting news that you can tell us or maybe something big you have happening in the future. It's not that huge, but I'm working on a parody right now that I'm going to bring some people on to feature with, which to me is really exciting. It's the first time that I'm collabing with others in that sense, and I'm excited. Hopefully happening in a few weeks time, so please look out for that. Beanbag Love wants to know what my favorite color is, and no, I think that's a good question because I never get to say things like that, but I really like blue. You can't tell by my room right now, but that wasn't my decision, so Ooh, that's a good one. To the Shiny says, how do you think your life would have been if you had never discovered K-pop, and do you sometimes wish you hadn't known it existed, or regret nothing? Um, that's a... That's funny because when I first was getting into K-pop, I kept it super, super secret, like, I'm talking years, except for maybe from my sister, but 2010 was when I started getting into it, and I think up to 2013, 2014 even, most people did not know that I liked it. That being said, I was really only into 21 and SNSD for those first few years, but I really, at first, did kind of regret it. I was ashamed of liking it, and seems so dumb to me now, but I, I would, I really tried to stop liking it for a while because I just wanted to be, I just wanted to feel comfortable and not embarrassed about it. And now I just realize, you know, just own who you are. Don't be ashamed of it. If you own up to it, then people respect it. That's like one of the biggest things I've learned through liking K-pop and at this point I don't really regret it because I think that my life would be a little sadder or quite a bit sadder without K-pop. I've met so many people through it and made all of you guys as friends kind of. I mean I know that sounds really fake to say it but I really do try to talk to you guys. It's an amazing thing. It really is. It brings people together and I don't regret that at all. So I think this is going to be my last one because my battery is running low now and I have to go but Skippy Skipper want no that's not the <laughs> Skippy Kipper 101 wants to know what am I most excited about for going to South Korea and is there something that I'm worried about? If you guys didn't know I'm planning to go to South Korea next year on a university exchange and I'm really looking forward to it. I think the thing that I'm most excited to do is to meet up with friends that I met while at university here. There are a lot of South Korean exchange students that taught me as TAs in my Korean classes that I now consider friends and they live in Korea that I want to go see. Experience their way of living as well. Just experiencing and taking on the culture and learning more Korean, I'm really excited for that. One thing that I'm worried about which may be totally unfounded, I don't know, but I'm just really worried that native Koreans that are there will just be a little off put by the fact that there are so many foreigners getting into Korean culture and that they'll just be like, oh great, another foreigner that's taking advantage of the Korean wave right now. That's not really what I'm trying to do, but I'm worried that it will come off that way and I really just want to try to build bridges and connections between like two different cultures and 
it just as a selfish kind of way, I really do want to experience life over there. And if I can bring other people along with me, like you guys, and show you it, and hopefully just make people understand each other from different cultures, that's hopefully the type of thing that I can get to accomplish while I'm there. Or I don't know, if not, it'll still be a good experience. So that is everything I'm going to do for this q and I don't know if it was short or long by your standards, but I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Please do keep an eye out for live chats that I do. It's way easier to ask me questions there, and I'm hoping to do one at the beginning of November. So I will see you then. Thank you guys for watching. As always, stay awkward. Bye.